met him, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. What? Tell me what's significant about Memnon himself as a as a figure. There's a lot of there's a lot to it. It's like a it's like a layered cake. Mm -hmm. For one thing, Memnon was a was a tradition. He wasn't one guy. Okay. He was one guy who came through history as a as a tradition that sort of got kind of coalesced into one guy. I'll give you an example. Um, in Chicago, there's a place called the United Center. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in, in front of the United Center, there's a big statue of Michael Jordan. That's right, yeah. Now, in a thousand years, after everything is falling down and crumbled into dust, so 2,000 years after all everything is gone, yeah, somebody might dig up that statue. Yeah. They might dig up that statue. And they might say, hey, is this not the Michael Jordan, the, right. the mighty NBA warrior who hit a hundred, you know, points in one game and he invented the skyhook. Yeah. Of course he didn't do that. Right. Dr. J did that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you know, um, but after all that time, what happens is the, the accomplishments of a group of people get sort of fixed on a legendary character who sort of encapsulates all of those, all of those, the tradition of that people or yeah. of that group. Yeah. And that's what Memnon is. It, it, you can even tell it in his name. Memnon means immortal mm. in three different ancient languages. Okay. In the, the ancient comedic languages, Memnon means Mem. Mem is a seed. Yes. Most people know the, the, the seed is like a coriander seed. It's a, a black seed that's known for its medicinal purposes from in ancient Egypt. Na means to go, un means means living. Memnaun in ancient comedic means the black seed that goes on living. That is a very and powerful in, name. And in ancient Greek, his name means his name means forever, forever living. That's what the name Memnon means. Mm -hmm. So you got cats like um a well known dude from Greek mythology. His name is Agamemnon. Yes, yes, yes. Now, now, this is a later white guy who came after the Memnon tradition was was um, created. Okay, and he na he named himself Agamemnon, and Aga means very in ancient Greek. Wow, wow, wow! So he was he was trying to ride on the Memnon name by calling himself very Memnon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like me calling right. myself Super Jordan, right? That's right. That's that is correct. <laughs> now. The in the ancient what you call ancient Asian, the the lands of the the the, the Kushites over in Asia. We're talking about the the Sumerians, yes, and the Elamite people, the people that were the pre Babylonian people. All right, his name means forever regenerated. And in fact, there is a famous temple over there that bears his name also. Okay, so Memnon is a tradition that is attached to several different ancient cultures and when you dig down deep you find out that all of these cultures are or were propagated and began by people that they call the ancient Kushites. Yes. Memnon was of the Kushite tradition. Mm -hmm. Now the Greeks called them Ethiopians. That's correct. That yes. was a, that was their name for the Kushites, mm -hmm. but they called themselves the Kushites and they called and the Greeks called them the blameless Ethiopians, yes. the most favorite of the gods. So, I mean, okay, based on that, 